Welcome back to another camera comparison. This one was requested a lot and it is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra up against the Vivo X100 Pro. Now the Vivo has only 1080p front facing video. It's at 60 frames per second, both of them. The Samsung does have autofocus and 4K30 with its front facing camera. So are we gonna see a noticeable difference here in the resolution? So there is no breeze, there's no wind at the moment. We should not hear any wind noise. I'm swapping over the audio sources. Just gonna jog a little now. Testing out that stabilization to see which one is the steadiest here out of these two Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 flagship phones. 4K60 rear cameras. This is the main camera at the moment. So we have 200 megapixels versus the one inch type sensor with the Vivo, which is 50 megapixels. Optical and electronic image stabilization. You can see both of them are looking quite steady. Looks like one might be slightly steadier than the other. Now even at 4K60 we can swap over to all of our cameras on the rear here. So this is now the ultra wide. This is using of course electronic image stabilization. There's a little bit of a breeze so we could have some possible wind noise. Just going to jog ahead now. Stabilization on both is looking close but it's hard to tell really looking at just the phone screens but it looks like it could be a bit more shakier with the Vivo. I'll go over to our optical zoom camera so we can go to 4.3 and then five times native optical zoom with both of them. Looking at some typical New Zealand bush here. 10 times zoom and this is digital on both of them. So 4.3 times optical max with the Vivo versus five times optical max with our Samsung. And I can only zoom up to 10 times with the Vivo X100 Pro. The Samsung will let me go to 20. 20 is its maximum digital zoom allowed for video. This is 4K 60 frames per second. So I can get a little bit closer here with the Samsung. I'll zoom back to 10 times again. I'm trying to hold both the phones as still as possible. Which one do you think has the steadiest footage here and the best periscopic optical zoom video at 4K 60 frames per second. 8K footage now. So very high resolution. This is only at 30 frames per second, so it won't look as smooth as the 4K footage you did see before. So I'm just walking ahead and now pan around slowly. We should not see any dropped frames with either of these, even with 8K 30 frames per second. So just stopping now, checking that stabilization. And what about wind noise? Are we hearing any with either of these phones? Low light video, 60 frames per second. Now with the Vivo, we have that Zeiss T-Star coating. So is it gonna make a difference here? Will it make it clearer? Will it reduce that lens flare? So I'm gonna intentionally point it here at this light and we can see lens flare. Well, it doesn't seem to make too much of a difference here under these conditions. I can see it on both of them about the same, really. No change, stabilization. In these kind of conditions now being night not of course looking as good as daytime so I'll just take it up to their optical zoom cameras this is now five times with our Samsung 4.3 with our Vivo and which one do you think looks the best there and which one is capturing this double tree sign here the best and over to our still photos now. So bright flowers, both of them did struggle. I do like the background blue we get with the Vivo. The Vivo got the colors a little better, the different shades on those petals there. And overall, I think it was the better photo with this shot. Macro shots, you can see there's a big difference because the X100 Pro is using the five times periscopic camera for micro shots. It's a lot of details there, nice background blur. The only thing that was off with its photo was the color. It should be more purple like the Samsung. With this main camera shot, I do prefer the photo on the right, which is the Vivo. It got this cat's ginger fur a little more correct, and I do like the overall image. I think it looks a bit more warmer, a little bit more pleasant. Periscopic zoom cameras here, and I did take this photo at 20 times zoom. You can see that the Samsung has a lot of noise to it. Artifacts doesn't look great. The Vivo shot is a lot clearer. It is better, but it still looks like a bit of an oil painting. It's not wonderful either. At this level of zoom, 20 times, that's a lot of digital zoom. This is now a 10 times zoom shot of this cat having a rest under a car. I think the S24 Ultra is just a little clearer, a little sharper here with this shot. 
And the colors are a little more correct too as well with this particular one. Selfie portrait shots, clearly here for me, it's the Samsung. It's a lot better. I've got a lot of details on my skin. Stitching is very good. There's some skin smoothing happening with the Vivo that I'm not particularly fond of. And I did turn off the beautifying effects. I also found that the rare portrait photos looked better, I feel, with the Samsung. Better skin tones, contrast is better, my eyes look clearer. Stitching on both is very good, but I did find that the Vivo with the contrast, especially my eyes, just didn't quite look as good as what we have with the Samsung with this shot. More zoom tests. So first up, this is our one times main cameras. I then go over to the periscopic cameras and you can see that this is the native zoom here we're looking at and then 10 times and finally 30 times zoom, which I think the Vivo took less noise. It just tended to look a little bit better here. Another zoom shot here. This is 30 times zoom and you'll see that there's a bit of noise again with the Samsung. There's a lot of noise reduction being applied with the Vivo, but overall I think the result is better than what we get with the more noisy image with our Samsung. Then this photo of a very young green cicada, it looks better with the Vivo, I think. If you have a look at the wings, they come out clearer than the S24 Ultra and the colors are more correct. This cicada was more green as shown with the Vivo. Then ultra wide shots, I found that yes, the Samsung does apply a bit of sharpening, but overall I did tend to find the Samsung ultra wide images just a little bit more detailed, a little bit clearer the lens, slightly wider field of view, and the colors a little more correct than the Vivo. So for ultra wide shots, I think it was the Samsung. Finally on to low light stills. So this is where I think uh, the Vivo really did start to dominate and pulled ahead from the Samsung. You see when I zoom in here, slightly more details, that double tree sign does look better. Then the zoom shot, huge difference here. Look how much clearer it is with the Vivo here. And I think that's probably down to the Zeiss optics and just how it is optimized with the software and everything. And this shot too as well. Look at the grass, more details. It's a lot clearer, a bit sharper. Vivo one. This shot is probably the closest out of all the low light photos. Very similar, but again, when you crop in, you see that the Vivo pulls ahead just with more details, looking a little bit sharper and the way it's captured the clouds and the sky there, just a bit better. So to recap now my findings, I think the video was the best with the S24 Ultra. The audio sounded the best as well. It's microphones and the video stabilization was certainly, I think, better with the Samsung there too. So where the X100 Pro from Vivo was better, I felt was the bright flower shots. Macro shots, definitely a, a big difference there. Zoom as well, that went to the Vivo. Low light video had less noise, especially in that shot where there was the lens flare, the Samsung Sky had a bit of noise, Vivo not as much. And then the low light shots, this was a clear lead for the Vivo here. I think it pulled ahead definitely there in the low light photography department. And finally portraits, I think that went to the Samsung. So do you agree with my findings here? If you do or you don't, let me know in the comments and do subscribe for more up and coming camera comparisons and reviews from me. Bye for now.